Game shows and reality shows enable people to do everything from winning money to losing weight, show off their talent or demonstrate their lack of it. But whether testing talent or knowledge, physical stamina or mental sharpness, they have one thing in common. They are all entertaining to watch. The NBC Television Network presents Concentration. You have made a match. You get a look at two more parts of the puzzle which come into view. You have the right to guess in the next few seconds what is our puzzle. The Battle of Lexington. Is great. Game shows, reality shows, and competition shows. No one did it better than NBC and does it better than NBC. Which is worth more, Oprah Winfrey or the nation of Uruguay? <laughs> Oh, I love game shows. I've been a game player all my life, but to play it on television, it was such fun to do. <laughs> and you play for blood. You don't kid around. You play for blood. An unbelievable performance. Isaac Calgero is an American Ninja Warrior, and he's a million dollars richer. As the song kept going on, you kept getting better. I'm so proud of you right now. I predict great things are going to happen for you. There's something about you. Thank you. You've got to work with a network who loves these kind of shows. And we were very lucky to find ourselves on NBC because they always stood for entertainment. Welcome to a brand new show called Jeopardy. The new truth or consequences. 21. This is something that Mr. Miller did to Mrs. Miller. Now, let's start the questioning with Betty White. This is something you did to Mrs. Miller. Is that right, Mr. Miller? That's right. I was so privileged to be dealt in to so many of them. It's a tremendous privilege that I never take for granted. Mrs. Miller, did you enjoy this? No, I did. Did you enjoy it, Mr. Miller? No. Well, if nobody enjoyed it, what'd you do it for? <laughs> Ramiro G. Gonzalez. What does the uh, G stand for, Ramiro? Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez. <laughs> what does your wife call you, Ramiro or Gonzalez? Uh, she called me Pedro. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune had been on for seven years or so in daytime. It started in the 70s. And now, here's your host, Pat Sajak. Merv needed a new host. And I said to Merv, I don't know if a game show is for me, because back then, in my mind, the prototypical game show host was, hey, you won $10,000, and I don't really do that. He said, I like what you do. Just do the way you do it, and we'll be fine. Welcome to Wheel of Fortune. Uh, people write from time to time say, do we have a live audience? Are you live audience? Hope that answers your question. I'm doing it to this day and I'm grateful to that man to this day. Jessica, think about this. This is your final offer. $561,000. The week after the show aired, it became a phenomenon. 100 million people viewed in the first week. Deal or no deal. It was the most exciting time in my career. Your case is worth of Jane Lynch's house for a night of fun. Hollywood Game Night started in my living room with famous and non-famous people coming over and playing games, and we drink, and we have a good time. Go ahead, two words. Adam Levine. The Voice? The Voice! The voice. She can't use a name. Oh. <laughs> you can't swear on national television. I think Hollywood Game Night, people like to watch it because you get an insight into the celebrities and what they're like in real life. Let's do it. I hate them a tongue. I was dry humped by Martin Short. It was probably the craziest thing that happened to me on the set. And I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie to you. And that's why we keep asking him back. <laughs> Bring in the worms. Don't say you're pushing, because you're not. You will rise to the challenge, or you will leave. Oh my god! 
goodness. This woman read the fighting scroll. She's got it. Her feet are up. You always start every set the same way. You come out, you smile at the audience, you go, let's do this. And so <laughs> I always liked talent shows. All these shows started in America years ago. I used to watch them as a kid. So I'm sort of making what I liked as a kid, and that's the fun of it. Oh. <laughs> OK. What is your name, sir? My name is Terry Fader. I'm Emma Taylor. This is Emma Taylor. I'm a singer. America's Got Talent gives people a chance to finally get on stage, and it gives people a shot to become millionaires. You're watching dreams come true. It's the most beautiful show on so many different levels. You laugh, you cry, you relate, you enjoy, you're entertained. It's got everything. All I can do is tell you what I hear about The Voice over and over and over again from people. We love your show. We love the fact that you guys care so much about these kids trying to make it. You did this! You did this to me! <laughs> did I? Adam and I have been on the cover of People magazine together with this bromance. You gotta do the right thing here. Well, you hold your horses, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Adam's like the opposite of a bromance for me. He's like a bad smell. Like, you don't want to be around a bad smell, you know what I mean? You want to get away from it. That's Adam for me. The winner of season two of The Voice is... Jermaine Paul. Congratulations to Blake Shelton.